to the pilot episode of Coffee with Mayonnaise. Our current special guest is Team Boy 2K7 and his video on this popular YouTuber. Let's hear your shitty points, shall we? Gideon has got to be one of the worst users ever. Let me give you reasons on to why I hate him. 1. He forces religion onto others. Keep in mind, he's talking about the same person whose entire channel revolves around Christianity and following God. It is literally not that hard to just look in the description. Proving that he's a the Christian guy 2K7 wannabe. You do realize we're not stupid, right? We obviously know that the Christian guy 2K7 person is you. Quit playing dumb and open your eyes. 2. He tells us to forgive others, when not everyone has to forgive one another. Plus, we should not forgive criminals. 3. He claims that SpongeBob copied the Bible, when it didn't. It's just a TV show. SpongeBob is indeed a TV show, I get that. But whether it's real or not, you can still get inspiration, steal, or copy other things, internet or not, especially from the Bible. This is shown in the popular animation Combat Gods. This point is now declared completely false. You look stupid. This proves you're a hypocrite. You do not know what the term hypocrite means, and it shows. The term hypocrite is to describe a person who claims or pretends to have certain beliefs about what is right but who behaves in a way that disagrees with those beliefs. Gideon never behaved in a way that showed that SpongeBob didn't actually copy from the Bible. 4. He tells us to repent and have a relationship with God. Dude. Not everyone in the whole world is going to listen to you. Are you fucking stupid? Just because he tells people to repent and have a relationship with God doesn't mean he's trying to tell the whole world about his beliefs. And yeah, not everyone's gonna listen, but he has plenty of subscribers who will. 5. He is a criminal supporter, and a pedo-apologist. Are you serious right now, Gideon? Why would you do something like that? You should know that criminals cannot be forgiven. Believe it or not, some people actually do forgive criminals for various things, including actual murder. 6. He says that people will go to hell if they don't repent, proving that he is sending death threats. If him saying that not repenting will result in you going to hell is a death threat, wouldn't that mean that God is sending down death threats as well? It states in the Bible verse that, unless you repent, you too will all perish. 7. And finally, he is a disgrace to all of us. He used to be a good YouTuber, but now, he's changed. Change is good, dumb fuck. Just because he decides to do content related to Christianity, doesn't mean he's a disgrace. He must go back to a good YouTuber. Also, you need to be good to go to heaven. People think you must accept Jesus to go to heaven. Bruh, what does that even mean? You know you need to be a good person to go to heaven. Everything you have just said was completely false. In order to be able to see the gates, you must give your life to Christ, repent of your sins, and then be good, show your faith in your works, works as in doing good for others, and spreading the gospel. Oh, bro.